Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Christina and my name is Danny and we are True Twin Flames in Harmonious Union and Certified Ascension Coaches with Twin Flames Universe. And today we wanted to share with you a juicy topic, the truth and the real reason why the Divine Masculine runs mm -hmm. on the Twin Flame journey. Yes. <laughs> He was the runner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, someone commented the other day that there was a push and pull between us. And I thought that was funny because, um, yeah, it's like an illusion. The chaser runner dynamic, it's actually an illusion and it's not real. Like it's yes. not, it's not like a part of your relationship. It's actually just an energy. And so, yeah, we'll get straight into it. So this is why you're experiencing your twin flame or your divine masculine running from you. What's actually happening? Can you stop staring at me? Yeah. <laughs> What's actually happening is that your twin flame, your divine masculine is mirroring to you that you are running from yourself. And so, yeah, you may be wondering like, how can I run from myself? And yeah, it can be in several different ways. Um, it could be that you are, um, like not facing your fears or like being honest with yourself about how you feel like maybe suppressing your emotions and just going and distracting yourself by doing other stuff like suppressing yourself um it could be that you are not doing what you need to do to manifest your union you may be um like the universe may be asking you to take a certain step but you're maybe running in the other direction um, there are like several different reasons or ways that you may be running from yourself. And so you just need to like ask yourself and be very honest with how you could be running from yourself. And yeah, the moment that you heal it by loving yourself and making a new choice, your twin flame will no longer run from you. So do you have yeah, like a perspective here as yeah. the divine masculine? Yeah, for sure. Like, for example, like... Um, like just a couple minutes ago when Christine was like, please stop staring at me. And I was like, okay, I will stop staring. You can interpret that as, yeah. um, oh, she's pushing him away. <laughs> yeah. That's she's actually a really good example. Yeah. But what was happening there, Danny? She was disciplining me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's loving. Yes. But why was I disciplining you? What was... Like, why? What was I pointing out to you? Um, what were you pointing out to me? I don't know. It was just an energy and I said no to it. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, that's, so it's that's, as simple as that. Yeah, and so, and so, like, yeah, that's why your twin um, is running, is, yeah, you may be approaching the connection with an energy that is, like, repellent to him. Right, and that's exactly, I think that's exactly why this came up in the middle of the video. So we yeah. could actually, like, show you that, like, the runner, cha the runner chaser dynamic actually doesn't really exist. It's just a healing that happens mm -hmm. within you. It is um, something that your twin flame, because they are one with you, they are one with your consciousness. You share one consciousness and they will always mirror you perfectly and they'll al always love you perfectly. So yeah, so that can be interpreted as like not loving, right? As like not loving. Christina is being mean to Danny. But what I was doing is I was um, claiming, like I was setting a boundary and claiming my space yeah. and like showing him like, yeah, like this is how I want to be loved. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's exactly what your divine masculine is doing when he's running from you or when he's maybe blocked you or not in communication with you or like not wanting to be with you. He's placing a boundary. He's mm -hmm. placing a loving boundary on you. Now, the reason for this boundary um, could be multifaceted, but there's always one core thing happening, and it is love yourself. It is the healing of um, seeking love outside of yourself. Yeah, that's like the main That's way. the core. Mm -hmm. The core healing that happens to transcend the runner-chaser illusion forever is by recognizing that your love doesn't come outside of yourself it actually comes from within you and it comes from god and so the reason why your twin flame puts up boundaries with you um or whether, is running or is yeah. running um 
you know, like running boundaries. Yeah. It's like, that's what's actually happening. It's pushing you to love yourself. It's pushing you to seek God and love within yourself and to not try and treat your twin flame like your source, not and try to get something from your twin flame. Mm -hmm. It's um, an opportunity for you to go deeper into self-love and um that that's the reason yeah it's really as simple as that it's just like as simple as like making a new choice there Mm. to love yourself and yeah to claim god as your source and um yeah just to like focus on yourself and this is going deeper into like attracting not chasing yeah so you attract your twin flame by yeah loving yourself like we said and romancing yourself like treating yourself like your best like you know like your best friend like someone you love like treating yourself like your lover taking yourself out for dates buying yourself roses you know chocolate having movie nights with yourself like you know whatever it is that you like to do but doing those things is like extremely magnetic and that's actually how you attract your twin flame to you Mm -hmm. and it's because um yeah like self-love is like magnetic and that is the foundation actually of your union of your twin flame union it's the love that you give to yourself with god that builds a foundation of love and of peace Mm -hmm. and it allows for a healthy relationship because you're you're coming together as like two holes like people that don't like like need come to each other from like needing each other Mm -hmm. but that choose each other because they love each other and they want to share that good feeling with each other and so yeah then you and your twin flame can connect from a place of like joy and wholeness wholeness and yeah like in peace Mm -hmm. and so yeah and that's like what you actually want yeah the foundation of your harmonious union is built on unconditional love it's built Mm -hmm. on wholeness within both of you both of you have recognized the wholeness within yourself you've recognized the oneness between you that you've never been separate and that you will never be separate um and um it's from that place of peace that you can really enjoy your relationship and where that's where real harmony can exist between you is Mm -hmm. is from that foundation and your twin flame will love you perfectly into that place if you allow them to um Mm -hmm. like a way to transcend this dynamic is to really accept what your twin flame is communicating to you by accepting it and recognizing okay he's placed a boundary upon me and now because of that um i must recognize that i need to invest in myself i need to Mm -hmm. focus on myself i need to focus on my own self-love and happiness and wholeness and my relationship with god And as you do that, as you heal your relationship there, you will recognize that you feel better. You feel more peaceful. You feel more whole. And that's when you feel like very surrendered about him and you don't even care about him coming back is like when he comes back. And that is, that is the way. And it's not, it's not about him. He's communicating that all of this isn't about him. It's not really about a relationship. It's about your ascension. It's about God. It's about your relationship with God. Yeah, which results in a relationship with your twin flame. Yeah, which results in your relationship with your twin flame. Uh, We're not saying that you're just going to be alone with God forever. Yeah, we're not switching you here. Yeah, Yeah, no, it's um, absolutely, your harmonious union is guaranteed if you do the correct spiritual work. Yeah, and Um, if you do, like, you attract them instead of chase them by loving yourself. Yeah. Loving yourself is literally the only thing you need to do Mm -hmm. to come into harmonious union with your twin flame. It is also the only way. Yeah, to it's come also into, the only way. And it's also, yeah, it's yeah. the only way to come into harmonious union God, with your twin Can you hand me that so. book right there? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, that is, like, the truth of the runner-chaser dynamic and the reason why the, 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 the divine masculine <laughs> runs. Mm. And if you are serious about your harmonious union, about coming into union with your twin flame, 
then I highly recommend, you can see our ring light, uh, getting this book by Jeff and Shalia. It's called Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. And inside this book, you will find an exercise called The Mirror Exercise, and it will take you deeper into going into attracting and giving yourself love. Mm -hmm. And yeah, The Mirror Exercise is actually like the number one tool for your harmonious twin flame union mm -hmm. and yeah they have tons of examples of like healing similar dynamics and blocks like the one we shared with you today yeah so yeah i have this linked in this in, again i have this linked in the description below so yeah what a candid video we made today i know really honestly so yeah so yeah if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe we'd really appreciate that it supports us and creating more content for you to help you on your twin flame journey yep. and yeah if you desire to get more support we are certified ascension coaches and are equipped with supporting you on your twin flame journey so we have some links below i have a new group coaching class at 12 p.m on saturdays if you would like to join love to have you there and is there anything else you'd like to say for the end of the video yeah um also if you're coming at a future future date and uh we don't have the same group coaching class just check out the links below you'll see all of our services all of our times of uh yeah. things that you can join and yeah like i feel just complete. love yourself just love yourself yeah. that's... and your man loves you that's why he is setting this boundary with you and yes reach out to us if you need help sounds good good well, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video. All right. Bye everyone. Bye.